speaking on the business of art, certainly it seems in my experience that a successful artist does seem to have a solid understanding of the business of art. They do seem to have to be able to balance that fine line of artistic inspiration and, and business enterprise. So, Tien, in your experience? And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think that, that the artist has to be true to them, themselves and the work that they want to create and recognize that there is a market and what, what they make will either be accepted by the market or not. And you know, in terms of, of uh, leaning towards a commercial viability, I think that, that most artists are, are willing to create different sizes. You know, they, they don't just come to me in with 20 foot by 20 foot canvases one after right. the next and expect me to find a market right. despite the lack of it. Uh, so th I think that by the time they come to me, they are not just looking to show their work, whether regardless of sales, they're looking for someone who is going to work to sell the work, find a market, promote the work, get it out there, and uh, allow them the financial ability to continue to create it. So uh, that acceptance of creative enterprise and, or creative and enterprise, I guess, <laughs> uh, by the time they come to me, it's, it's uh, a done deal. Right. They want to sell. Right. Uh, I know very few artists, or I don't deal with any artists who are only interested in selling and will, will sell the soul and, and create whatever the market will will buy uh, I think that that is short-lived yes, it only lasts for a, yeah, it, short it, it time. doesn't it doesn't develop into anything because it doesn't it lacks soul and I think that the artists who who make it long term who have commercial viability and uh, critical success are true to themselves first and are creating interesting work, and the, that is what allows them to have a market. Right. So, I would agree. Thanks. <laughs> I concur. <laughs> Christine, yeah. Have you? Uh, um, I was just sort of thinking about a couple of points, and one is um, uh, commercial versus, and I hate using this, whatever. Some people say, well, um, you know, what is commercial work? I don't know. I mean, is, is that commercial? Is that, you know, some, I, I don't know. I, I hate putting labels on things. But if you're looking at systems, um, some people fit better into the commercial art world. Mm -hmm. And some people, due to the nature of their work, if it's installation-based right. or projections, well, so you know, maybe someone's going to pay six thousand yeah. dollars for you know for an yeah. installation or ten thousand dollars, but usually it's something that's going to fit into an artist-run center or the museums or whatever. So then you come up to that idea of um, success as an individual ideal, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, mm -hmm. I was just thinking of an artist I've been working with uh, recently. Um, he started. He's a drawing and painting student. He just graduated, and he started doing paintings. But now he's doing projections onto paintings. So mm -hmm. he's doing stop animation and then these projections and. I already start telling him like, start applying for grants and right. like, you know, yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> then and start looking at institutions because that's where you're going to fit in, right. you know. Like we were we were making jokes about who might come in and, and you pay several thousand dollars right. for his installation and buy the data projector or whatever. Right. <laughs> but he's been great. He's been plugging away. He just had another show open like two nights ago. So right. he's been he knows that he's going to have to work at it right. to get his name out. There's names Shlomi Greenspan by the way. There you go. Excellent painter and then just decided to put a twist on it and now he's this is what he's doing is stop animation and projection and yep. I th he's determined he is determined and he will he will do well but he may not show up motion and the nature of his work is will determine the, Absolutely. the direction of his career and just one other little thing I was thinking of too was uh, someone who I sort of had on my list when I was looking at alumni who have gone on to have careers um, there was a, a student who was a jewelry student and then went on to do sort of installation work um, and he uh, has had 
successful shows and actually sells work that has things like flies in them. Right. Or, or their log counts, you know what I mean? Their works about time-based, you know, passage of time or whatever. So they're kind of abstract and they're kind of odd, but there are people who have bought his fly pieces, you know, or right. his gnat pieces or whatever. Yeah, right. So again, who knows what the collector's always looking for. So yeah. sometimes people find... Um, and it does depend on the niche. trends in the market at the time, because there is the shifts all the time. You know, I feel like yeah. every five, ten years, you can see a shift in what people are paying attention to and what people are willing to pay money for. Right. But yeah. these, these are extreme, not extreme, but these are, are not the usual. Yes. You know, yeah, exactly. But for whatever reason, there's something that can appeal. That exactly. Yeah. yeah, they find a place to, to show. Great. <laughs>